Hello my friends, how are you? I hope you all be fine today. Uh, so today I'm going to show you how to set up your inverter for the first time. So first of all, you have to set the motor data into the drive. For this, let's go to the motor data. Here is our motor data. As you can see, I want to use some of this information into the drive. So let's go to the drive to set up this information. First thing that you have to do is to set the motor data into the drive. So for this, we want to go to the uh, main menu, uh, come down to the loads and motor, motor data, and in here the first option is motor kilowatt, which uh, my motor is 11 kilowatt. You can change it if it's necessary. So come down, it's the motor voltage is 400 volts. Come down, number of motor frequency is 50 hertz, and come down, motor current is 20.2. Uh, My motor is this. If it's necessary, you can change it as you wish. So, uh, come down again, and here is a motor nominal speed, which my motor nominal speed is 2,900. Uh, and so, this is all motor data which is set. So, come to the main menu. Uh, for the starting of the motors, we need to do something in here. I have installed my potentiometer in this terminal. You can see this is my potentiometer. I have installed it uh, to the terminal number 50, 53, and 55. And this is our motor start button. You can uh, install the switch. I, now I, I want to uh, connect it directly. This is my uh, uh, switch for the starting of the motors. Number 18 is the digital inputs. Uh, uh, for the starting of the motors so as you can see motors does not start uh, so first uh, we're gonna to, uh, we, we do something is to uh, set the function of the number 18 terminal come here to the main menu come down to the uh, digital inputs outputs come to the digital inputs and uh, in here you can see terminal number 18 should be this is important it should be uh, the start so you can see this is terminal number 18 and here we have terminal number 18 we should press it for the start button okay let's go back to the main menu to the status menu so in here you can see when I'm changing the potentiometer in here you can and see that the hertz at the top side in here it's changing and now the maximum is 15 hertz as you can see it's changing so i wanted to change uh, to start my motors in 10 hertz so in here i want to start the motors here if i push this to inside the number 18 you can see it's not starting it still is not starting so for this problem we have to do something else in the drive come down come here to the main menu go to the motor and load the motor come to the motor data then come down to the number parameter number 129 the motor automatic motor adaption AMA which is now off you can see in here we should enable complete AMA Press the start and see it says press the hand on to start AMA. Okay, we will press it. But when I press it, the hand on button is, does not start. So uh, for this, we should change another options to start the AMA process. So go to the digital inputs. Come to digital inputs and here this number 512. Terminal 27 digital input with this which is cost inverse in here. We should set this to the zero Okay, now we have set it to zero as you can see the AMA process is started So after this process is finished I will come back Okay, welcome back my friends in here as you can see the AMA process is finished So press ok and look here uh, again. We should press the O2 and here is the status menu so as you uh, see when we press the uh, when we connect the number 12 to number 18 was not starting before AMA and now you can see if I connect this one motor is starting you can see motor hertz is increasing and motor is starting also yes now my motor is starting so thank you so much for watching this video